Fortnite has tons of controversial changes, whether it be a band skin that never saw the light of day to them canceling their collaboration with Apple, here's 35 controversies that changed Fortnite forever. However, one of the biggest controversies many of you might not even remember is the removal of police cars on the map. In chapter 1 and early chapter 2, police cars could be found around the island and you could farm these for metal. But in 2020, due to many police controversies, this led to many games taking action and removing police cars from their games. Amongst them was Fortnite, which removed these cars entirely for them never to return again. Though a few years after this, if you paid close attention to the Fortnite X Futurama trailer, in the background you can spot a police car driving by in Mega City. It's unknown why it was included in that trailer, since they no longer exist. But who knows, maybe Fortnite are going to be bringing back police cars soon as teased. The biggest controversy lately has been that of the popular creative map, The Pit. This game is bigger than Rocket Racing, Fortnite Festival, and even sometimes LEGO Fortnite, and the map's creator went as far as trying to claim the word The Pit as his own, where he'd report and take down any other style of map that used the word Pit in it, and even threaten to sue anyone who would copy his style of map. The situation got out of hand when people started calling him out like Cypher PK, and this even led to Simon Hypixel, the original creator of The Pit in Minecraft, calling out the Fortnite Pit's creator. To everyone's surprised, Fortnite creative actually took action, allowing everyone to be able to create maps in the pit genre. Another thing that'll never be seen again is the Harmony Lee skin, which was said to release last September for the Rainbow Royale event, but it never did. This was due to serious allegations towards the skin's creator, not Fury, who was even supposed to get their own locker bundle. The situation got super heated when the creator admitted that these allegations were true and tried to apologize, but everyone was furious, leaving Epic no option but to scrap their locker bundle and skin. And since then, the skin was removed from the files, so we'll probably never ever see this skin arrive. Something very few people know about is the content creator Nanakool. She makes short TikTok videos and was supposed to get her own locker bundle at some point in late 2022 featuring her main skin, Ruby. However, due to some interesting allegations and drama around her, Fortnite probably went the same route of avoiding the bundle's release and ultimately scrapping it. Ever since, there's been no news on the creator's locker bundle and it was entirely removed from the files, so it seems Epic's being very cautious when it comes to adding people to their game. Speaking of skins never releasing again, one of them hasn't been seen in 1400 days. I'm talking about the Rue skin who became highly controversial when people started pointing out the resemblance to her outfit to those of World War II. Epic noticed and immediately took action going as far as preventing creators from including her in their locker bundles or completely banning her outfit from LEGO Fortnite. However, it's still available in Battle Royale for those who already own it and remains one of the rarest skins ever considering it's likely not coming back. Rue isn't the only skin restricted from locker bundles though, as Epic has an entire list. Yup, it turns out there's an entire list of what skins fly and don't fly in locker bundles, and amongst these banned cosmetics are some collab cosmetics, icon emotes, or controversial cosmetics like the tidy or fresh emotes which haven't been in the shop in forever due to lawsuits. The cosmetics in this restriction list have a small chance of coming back to the shop because that's what happened with the Plague Doctor set, so keep an eye out because the rarest emotes could return soon, but it's super unlikely. You might remember the imposters mode back in chapter 2 season 7, and if you know, it was pretty much Fortnite's own take on Among Us. Players would be inside of a complex and have to find imposters among them, and it was really fun. But Epic did not ask any permission to create this mode and the Among Us developers were not happy. Things got heated up fast when Epic had to acknowledge they took inspiration from Among Us inside of a blog post and soon after on Twitter people discovered they had straight ripped it off. Luckily, after some time, both game companies got to talking and did an official collab with the Among Us backbling and emote that we all know today. I bet you didn't know about Fortnite and Apple's band collab? Well, years ago, Fortnite planned a collaboration with none other than Apple. This crossover was planned where the Fortnite crew in its early development stages was going to include access to free exclusive skins like the Galaxy or iconic. This subscription was going to be called the Fortnite Club, where subscribers would get Apple TV and Apple Music for 20 bucks a month, and this would come with in-game Apple exclusive skins or cosmetics. But one day, when Epic lowered V-Buck prices, Apple snapped, and Apple and Epic have been at war ever since. Fortnite do plan to bring Fortnite back to Apple devices soon, though, so only time will tell. Speaking of lawsuits, though, Epic Games was sued once over using the name Coral Castle for the infamous POI. They were sued by the owners of a real-life Florida landmark also named Coral Castle. They claimed that Epic stole their trademark name and filed a complaint and of course nothing came out of it and it's safe to say epic likely emerged victorious with the launch of chapter 5 fortnite became bigger than ever by adding three new core modes which were lego racing and festival but the community was outraged when these dropped because they saw in the shop the prices for cars where 40 dollars could get you one single vehicle the same happened with festival instruments and while both of these had their prices lowered and granted refunds lego kits just recently came out in the shop and these are just still overpriced tons of people already called epic out on the lego building prices even comparing it to minecraft selling blood.
blocks. But who knows, if people keep complaining, we could see the price of these reduce as well. Speaking of new launches, Chapter 5 Season 2 was meant to launch on March 8th, but it launched an entire day later. The hype was through the roof for Myths and Mortals, but due to an unknown reason, Epic just kept extending the downtime, and the extensions would just not stop, making it one of the longest downtimes in Fortnite's history. Players thought we'd get compensation, like a free item or even an XP boost, but to our surprise, we got nothing. And speaking of season 2, Epic's really dropped the bar on recent skins. Aphrodite was one of the most wanted survey skins, so when her in-game skin was revealed, people were super disappointed with the final result. Not only that, but another skin that was speculated to be another variant of Hades turned out to be just some regular guy. Even Ares, the god of war was robbed of a much cooler design, and this had a lot of people worried that cool survey skins will continue to be downgraded when coming to the battle pass or shop, so we can only hope Epic comes to their senses again when making these skins. Speaking of Ares, most of us were disappointed to hear that he's not a battle pass skin except he actually is if you felt that Korra didn't fit in this pass you were right because Ares was actually supposed to be in her place in Ares's trailer epic accidentally left an old description when uploading it to youtube revealing that he was meant to be in the myths and mortals battle pass which lines up with the fact that he's a boss this season like other battle pass skins and it depends who you ask but this is pretty disappointing because we almost had our first fully original pass in five years a reason that fortnite became so popular is none other than their huge live events we had ones like travis scott galactus or even the mech vs monster, but all of that changed with Fracture. Everyone was hyped for the end of chapter 3's event, but what we got instead was 40 minutes of playing what was basically a creative map. On top of that, there were audio issues, crashing, and the community was super mad. A year passed and we didn't get an event until the Big Bang, which was recent and a lot better in quality, but lots of people were complaining that it was just a big ad for the new collab modes. So it seems from now on, major live events are only going to happen at the end of each chapter, unless chapter 5 season 2 proves us wrong. That's not even to mention yearly chapters, because with Epic focusing on delivering a brand new map at the end of every year, players have noticed that we get less and less content ranging from map changes throughout the season being non-existent to the lack of live events and storyline. A lot of people miss when chapters were almost two years long since each new chapter launch felt more unique, while others are more of a fan of fast-paced chapters. Either way, it seems like Epic made up their mind, so prepare to see a lot more new maps in the next few years. When Season X came, everyone was super hyped about the return of Dusty Depot and tons of other locations. Little did they know that the excitement would fade due to mechs. The brew was the most unfair and overpowered thing we'd seen, and everyone was defenseless in its path. Eventually, these things got removed, but when the Mecha Morty skin was teased in the item shop, people were shocked. The cinematic looks like the return of mechs, but it turns out it was just the Mecha Morty skin, so it's safe to say that we're free from mechs for the time being. The Travis Scott concert's one of the best events of all time, but since it happened, many players have been constantly asking about his return. While many rumors have circulated, it's speculated that the Astroworld incident is what prevents Travis from returning to the shop, because Epic loves to avoid as much controversy as possible. Others have claimed it's because Travis likes to have exclusive merch, even digitally, meaning he may never return. But as always, Epic has his final say in these things, so not all hope is lost yet. In early Chapter 1 Season 6, players noticed that the Tier 1 skin, the Calamity, had an interesting gimmick, to say the least. When you do the Jubilation emote, Calamity would have some interesting physics, which created a huge issue for Epic, and it eventually was removed, and let's just say Epic was much more careful with these things moving forwards, but they still were return to hot epic and emotes like custom festival poses where you can kind of still see that this is just weird speaking of chapter one season six most of you remember that that was the season pets were added into the game bonesy was the first pet to be unlocked in the chapter one season six pass which created a brand new cosmetic type seeing the love for pets epic decided to reskin bonesy by adding a mask to him and changing his name to gunner to sell him in the shop for a thousand v bucks this upset the majority of the players accusing epic of reselling battle pass exclusive cosmetics the pet was later removed from the game completely and those those who bought it got refunds, ensuring no more similar tactics would be coming out from Epic. That's been controversial changes that changed Fortnite forever, so drop a like and sub for more.